Welcome to Whispering Pines Farms YouTube channel. My name is Jennifer Johnson and I raise Shetland sheep for their wool. In this video I'm going to be skirting a fleece from one of the ewes in our flock and her fleece is going to be included in my fleece auction which starts June 22nd at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. It's going to run for a week so it'll conclude on June 29th at 6 p.m. It's a Saturday. The auction is held on my website and every fleece that I'm putting in the auction is going to have a companion YouTube video to go along with it. So you'll really have a lot of information to use to make your decision about the fleece. This is from our ewe Belinda. She is a two year old ewe. I had looked at her fleece earlier during lambing because I was looking for content to film my lambing videos while we waited for lambs. But I didn't get weights or do all the data collection I like to do. So I'm going to do that now. Belinda is Mabel's daughter. I just did Mabel's fleece a couple days ago, if you're keeping track of all the videos. And Belinda is an absolute darling. <laughs> she's spotted, so, you know, I tolerate her. <laughs> but she's just a lovely little sweet thing. Uh, she is spotted like her mom, so she's more it with white spots. Technically, I don't really get too far into this, but her markings uh, called smurzlet, so it's a white patches on the nose and forehead. And if she happens to have a blaze, that's still called smurzlet. I think that's right. Like I said, I don't really pay too much attention to the actual specific spotting patterns. It's just not really a priority for me. All right, so she's got a spinning fineness of 20.8, which is pretty, pretty typical for a two-year-old in our flock. The coat before I skirted it, but I'm looking at it, I don't really see much to skirt off. I'm gonna leave it intact, is 27.1. This is a rood fleece, so this is where there's a break in the fleece and I harvest it in two sections, two halves, by plucking the fiber off of the ewe. So she'll be up in the stand and you know, I'll, I'll work on it that way. I've got a video about the whole process, so. All right, so let's get a photograph of Belinda's fleece. So spotted fleeces, not a fan, but that can be fun because you get three colors for the price of one. <laughs> three colors in, you know, one fleece. You get the white, you get the brown, and then you get the fawn where the two colors meet. Um, I find it a little fiddly, just the sorting and the managing, but I can see the appeal. Open split fleece here and get a photo of that so you can see the character while it's on the fleece. Take a picture. We'll grab a lock. The micro or the lock is. I always select the lock at the same spot that I collect the sample for micron testing. I do that in the spring, and then we'll send the sample, the whole everybody's fleece in a box to the uh, lab, and they will measure the fiber diameter of each each and every little fiber in that lock. I think they take 50 samples all together and test them. Maybe more. This is a four inch staple, Miss B. Look at that. So, normally the sheep are, you know, well, up until now during skirting time, the, this area was the nursery, but all the lambs have kind of grown up and they're out on the main pasture that's way out there and because today's such a beautiful nice cool overcast day they're probably going to spend the entire day out there and just enjoy okay let's get a photograph of the back and i think for Belinda's fleece i'm going to photograph both sides just because spotted or cat mugget fleeces the underside is so cool so fun to look at and then it really gives you a good sense of the color range you're going to you're going to get how much white compared with how much brown
So I would certainly spin them from the lock. This fleece, you could flick it or comb it, whichever is your preference. And I always neglect to say you could run it through a hackle if that's a tool you have. I don't use a hackle. Um, I don't normally think of a hackle for a cleaning tool. I think of it more as a blending tool, but I also think hackles are more commonly done with linen, flax, and stuff. But anyways, well definitely, this, if this were my fleece, I would flick it, separate the locks, spin the yellow, uh, white. I'd, I'd probably, I would probably get the white all flicked first before I started spinning it so that I could weigh it and split it in half to get a good even skein. And as I'm saying that, I think also another possibility would be to take the white and then as it tr transitions to the brown, that blend in the center, I would probably mix that in with the white. And if you wanted to, you know, do a color work where there's a really small amount of fawn, a good amount of white, and a significant amount of brown, this, <laughs> this would be great for that. That would be a lot of fun. All right, let's get a photograph of this from this side. So yeah, so there's nobody in here to hang out with me today. Flying solo. I think that's everything. So let's get this rolled up. She roots so easy. There's just, she's such a sweet temperament. I think I'm going to skirt <laughs> Tosca's fleece next as the direct contrast from a temperament standpoint. <laughs> Tosca's a white you, and she was biting me every time I put my hand near her face to, um, I don't know, sometimes if you're ruining them, it's, they like it. It's reassuring to get a little scritch, but she, <laughs> she didn't. All right, let's get that final. Well, I don't really, I didn't really skirt anything. So it's 27.1 ounces and this is Belinda's fleece so I think that about covers everything thank you so much for stopping by to watch the video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can come back soon